Where should I even start to become a data analyst? What courses should I take to become a data analyst? These are some of the questions you guys have asked me in order to start your journey to become a data analyst. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Justin and I'm currently a data analyst. In today's video, I'll be sharing four professional certificates from Coursera that I recommend for all aspiring data analysts. All the certificates that I'll be recommending today require no background or previous experience to take these certificates. So if you're a complete beginner, you're in the right spot. So let's take a deep dive in the first course that I recommend, which is the Google Data Analytics Professional Certificate. The certificate has been out for about a year now and has already has about 1 million people already enrolled in the certificate. The certificate is $39 a month with an option to do a seven day free trial. So you can sign up for the free trial to see if this is worth taking for yourself. You also have an option to apply for financial aid if money is an issue for you. So you can go ahead and apply and if you get accepted, you can take the course for free. You also have an option to audit this course, but the only caveat is that you won't be able to receive a certificate at the end. The certificate has over 180 hours worth of instruction, content, and assignments, which Coursera estimates that you will be able to complete this certificate within six months. And the Google Data Analytics Professional Certificate will provide a holistic overview of the skills and responsibilities that you'll need to know as you start your journey as a data analyst. So let's take an in-depth look of the course itself. This certificate includes eight courses that gives you a thorough breakdown of the roles and abilities you will need to know in an entry level position as a data analyst. There's a lot of key material that the certificate goes over such as data cleaning, data visualization, data decision making, and data wrangling. This course also provides a lot of hands-on exercises, which for me is very helpful since I learn more from hands-on exercises after watching a lecture. Once I learn a concept from a video, it's very important for me to put that into application and make it my own. Another part of the course that I found very helpful was the discussion forums. In these discussion forums, you can either post a discussion you would like to discuss among your peers who are taking the same course or read any of the other posts to find answers to questions you might have had when taking the course. For me, having my peers and my teammates in my team as resources in an excellent way to learn more about the subject matter. Finally, the certificate also provides a capstone project at the end, which will provide you a sample real world case scenario of preparing, analyzing, and visualizing data into a project. The course also gives you a direction on how to build your portfolio, which is really important in showcasing your skills to potential employers. By the end of the course, you will have had an in-depth knowledge of the key skills and abilities you will need in order to become a data analyst. The next certificate that I recommend is the Excel Skills for Business Specialization. And as you may know, Excel is one of the most popular digital tools used for just about anything, especially in data analytics. If I were to choose any tool to start with, I would choose Excel because of how prevalent it is. Every tech job that I know will require some level of expertise in Excel because companies use spreadsheets all the time to showcase data, analyze data, and so on and so forth. So let's take a look at the Excel Skills for Business Specialization Certificate. This certificate is perfect for beginners since it requires no prior experience. So if you haven't used Excel before, this is the right certificate for you. I also recommend the certificate for intermediate level users as well as this course goes over useful concepts such as automation, advanced formulas, conditional logic, and data validation. The last concept, data validation, was pretty useful to learn for me because I think the most difficult part of my role is validating the data. When I developed dashboards, so when I saw that this course did an in-depth look into data validation, I knew I was getting a lot of value out of this beginner certificate. This certificate includes four courses providing in-depth lessons about Excel, which Coursera estimates you to complete within six months. The certificate is pretty straightforward as the first course introduces you to the essentials and the basics and as you follow along in the course, it brings you to more advanced formulas and techniques to build out sophisticated spreadsheets. 
I also love how this course provides hands-on experience for you to try out exercises for yourself. In addition, the certificate provides quizzes, course videos, program assignments, and readings to make sure you have an extensive knowledge of the material. Overall, I think this certificate is a must-have from Coursera when starting out your journey as a data analyst. So the next certificate that I recommend is the Learn SQL Basics for Data Science Specialization Certificate. SQL is pretty essential to know when dealing with data and retrieving specific data from a database. In my role personally, when a key stakeholder is requesting a report to be done, a specific data set is required to be used for the visualizations. In order to acquire specific data, I use SQL to query the exact columns and fields that I need for any specific report. So let's take a look at the Learn SQL Basics for Data Science Certificate. To learn the fundamentals of SQL, I recommend the certificate from Coursera, Learn SQL Basics for Data Science Specialization. This is perfect for beginners since no prior experience is required. It's $39 a month, but again, if finances are an issue, you can apply for financial aid. This certificate has four courses for you to complete, which Coursera estimates completion time within four months. In the four courses, you will learn the basic SQL commands such as joins, filters, and sorts, which will develop your SQL queries fluency. The certificate also includes many hands-on case studies using authentic datasets, which will allow you to practice the SQL skills you will learn. I really like that these Coursera certificates has a lot of hands-on exercises as for me, the best way to learn is not only by watching the lectures, but also by doing and writing out the code. Finally, the certificate ends with a capstone project that you can complete from start to finish and can be a nice addition to your portfolio moving forward. The last and final certificate that I recommend from Coursera is the data visualization with Tableau. Data visualization is a pretty important aspect in the role of a data analyst. After I query a specific data set, now is the time for me to develop a data story on a dashboard. There are a ton of data visualization tools that companies use such as Power BI, Click, and Tableau. It doesn't really matter which data visualization tool that you learn since all of them are pretty similar. So let's take a look at the data visualization with Tableau certificate. This certificate includes five courses, which goes over the various features of Tableau, assessing the data quality to build out the dashboards and also the best practices to present your story. Oftentimes in my role, whenever I'm building out dashboards, I can get stuck in choosing which visualizations to choose from to best show the data. Am I supposed to use a bar chart, a line graph or a pie chart? These are the practices that this course goes over during the essential design principles for Tableau course. The certificate also includes a lot of hands-on exercises to build out different dashboards based on the data that you're working with. Finally, the certificate ends with a Tableau project that you're able to create and then showcase in your portfolio. I really like how most of these certificates have a capstone project at the end because not only are you applying the concepts that you have learned throughout the courses, but you're also able to build out your portfolio. Portfolios are important because it shows that you can apply the skills that you claim to have in your resume or your certification. Employers can look at your portfolio as a reference point to what kind of work you can produce in the actual role. Having a strong portfolio can lead to more job opportunities as well. So that's it. These are the four beginner certificates that I recommend from Coursera for all of you aspiring data analysts. And also for current data analysts, if you just want to brush up your skills, these are perfect for that as well. To enroll in any of these certificates, you can use my links down in the description below. And yeah, that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to leave a like. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below and make sure to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.